afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Socks with Show Market Review of the Spy. Let's just take a look and see. Well, basically, this I didn't see the market into the close, but it looks like it did a tick up to 212.97. Hmm, what did I say the target would be for the market? The next target was 210 and 212. I don't know if that's real or not, but even if it isn't, I can see the post market trading that's happening right now. And actually, I think that tick was real. But anyways, we're right now here at the point of making a new high. I did say this morning, early this morning, and don't be surprised if the market makes a new high today. The market is along today. The market's going to make a new high before the end of the calendar year, and the market is higher in 2015. I've been saying this. I said this all along. I said this back here in October. Then I said it again in the last two weeks. And then I got a million emails. Oh, your market call, Melissa, has really been off. Your market call has really been off. We're going to crash. Gosh, we're going to go lower. I told you, Melissa. And I kept looking at everything. And I kept looking and checking and checking and double checking and checking and checking and checking, checking the gaps. Okay, because that's what I do. And look at this market now. First of all, I don't know if this was real, but I think it was actually because it's on every chart. <coughs> but even if this isn't real, this is real. And it's at 207.11 right now, trading in live time at 6.15 Eastern time. And the market is looking like it's poised to give up tomorrow morning and make a new high. And I, this is like, this is like happening so, so early. I, I knew this would happen before the end of the year, but this is happening so, so, so early. And actually, if this was real, which I don't know if it was, I'll see tomorrow morning. Because if this is, this print is here tomorrow morning, this was real. But this is shorts getting stuffed out, actually. This is shorts covering, if that's real. If, if this is real, and again, I don't know if it is. Have to, I, there's nothing that I'm going to, I could close it out today and this is still going to pop up. I have to see tomorrow morning. I wasn't here live trading because I don't trade the afternoon. So I can't confirm whether or not this was, I had to check another platform to see if this is really real. But I do know, though, that if that was real, that was shorts getting stuffed out. That was shorts taking a beating right in there in that tail. Covering. Who have shorted this market? So what a nice picture. First of all, once again, let's go over it. Let's go over the whole shebang. Oh, let me just say what I was going to say. This is happening really early. Today's the 18th. I knew the market would make a new high before the end of calendar year. Gosh, that's still two weeks away. I mean, that's still 13 days away. Now, they're not all trading days, but wow. 2.15? 212, 213. If this was real, that was 213. 215. This is an amazing thing. I gave a really, really, really good lecture in the live trading room today, and I didn't tape it. It was a private lecture for people that are in the room that are there that are members. It was a good lecture. It's probably one of the best lectures I've ever given. The one thing I will share on this YouTube video that I did say in the lecture today for the room is that. Reading money, okay, is something that I do well. I'm reading the money here. That's how I knew this would happen. And I'm very good with reading that. You can call it price. You can call it momentum. You can call it money. You can call it volatility. You can call it energy. You can call it a lot of different things, but I'm really good at reading it. The reason that I'm good at that is because I'm good at reading gaps. Okay, that's what taught me how to read this in the first place. But I'm also really in tune with what's actually happening in real life time. That is allowing me to see things in the future. So the accuracy that I have on the live time that I'm reading something in the moment, how I'm able to call something right into the open at 930, what it's going to do, has a, I'm, and, and the fact that I'm able to do that so consistently <clears throat> has allows me to see it far in advance for the, for the future like I've seen what the market's going to do here, like I called this to do this, and like I'm seeing what's going to do before the end of the year, and also in 2015. 2015 is going to be, is going to play out exactly like I said, and probably more bullishly than I'm even saying, but I'm just saying what I see right now at the moment. So the one, again, sign of strength is, the drop-off happened here. I said this isn't bearish. We've retraced it 100% in two days. Now that, my friends, is control to the upside. That's buying power. And I knew this would step in. I knew this would happen while this was happening. 
just like I knew this would happen here. I knew that when this was happening, that this would happen. And this even happened faster than, than it even could have. But I did say today the market was probably going to get up to the high. And I called the market along this morning early out of the gate. That this is this is real. The market's actually trading right now at 207.13. So, you know, what, whether that tail is real or not really doesn't even matter. Let's just see if it's on the one minute chart. Yeah, it is. up tomorrow morning and that's there on every chart platform I have that was real. So amazing, amazing market. The one very important thing to learn from my videos on the market is that it's important to focus on gaps. That isn't pivots, it's gaps. It also is important to read the side of power directional change correctly whether bullish or bearish, <clears throat> because when institutional money comes in and control, and it's ready in control here anyways, but when it comes in like it did in the last two days, that's what happened here. And if that tail was real, that short's getting stopped out, there's people scrambling to cover when the market really raced over the high. And whether it happened in that tail, if that tail wasn't real, it's the market's going to get over the high again, and then people will scramble to cover, and then that covering will create green which will, the short covering will create the green, which will mean the market will continue higher from that push and it's already getting bought. The institutions are buying the market. They're going to continue to lift it up into the end of the year and into 2015. And if you play against that, know you're playing against the real money in the market. I don't think that makes sense for anyone to do, but many people do many different things. People don't want to go along this market because they feel it's extended. That's the wrong thing to do. I had such a great talk in the room. I almost wish I would have taped it, but I didn't. And it really was a pri private talk for the room today. You know, it is so important to align yourself if you want to be successful with someone you want to emulate, someone that is successful, and someone that has the right knowledge and information. And I definitely do in reference to the U.S. stock market because I'm calling things to happen before they happen and accurately on the live day. If you want to be successful, something that I say in all the videos that I have online will resonate with you and you will come and learn from me and take the class while I'm still teaching it and trade with me in the live room and have an experience that you will never forget. For the people that don't do that, that want a question, that need time and confirmation and whatever, then what I'm saying doesn't resonate with them. Therefore, they're not on the same wavelength as I'm traveling. And their path is very, very different. And many people take different paths. What I found is that when someone gets on the path to be, six, to be a trader, everyone gets and you start at the gate. And you get on it and the goal is to get here to be successful. What I found is that many people start out here and they go down and then something happens and they veer off to the left and they veer off to the right and they take a million detours and it takes them so long then to get to the goal. The original goal, the goal, the main goal they had, which was to be successful in the first place and make money and just make money in the market, whoever they could. But people veer off different paths. The one thing that I've got to give myself credit for in reference to from the beginning to, to the point where I figured everything out and really was doing it, and even, even now, okay, is that I stayed on the straight path. I really took the fastest path I, path I could have taken, which is straight, okay? Because any detour along the line means you're gonna, it's going to take you longer to get there. So you're going to take a straight path, and you're going to come to me, and you're going to learn from me, and you're going to take the Golden Gap class, and you're going to learn how to do it. Or you're going to veer off on a million different roads, and you may already be there. But if you find me, you get on the path, and you go straight there, and that's what you have to do, and you have to stay focused to do it. I find many people are so challenged in staying on the straight line. I mean, I knew you just had to keep doing it, keep moving forward, keep figuring out. And I believed in myself to do that. And luckily, I focused on the right information, which was in gaps. So I read this was going to happen. I'm not even surprised this happened. I got an email from George, one of my students. He's in the room last night after the market rally yesterday. Okay, after the market rally yesterday, I got an email from him, and he said he has a 1,000% conviction now, which is really funny because I like to say 100% conviction. So he made George mean something up. 
New word. A thousand percent conviction. A million percent conviction. A billion percent conviction. Anyways, it was funny. I, I, I will see what the room says about this tomorrow when they see the rally in here. But I know the people in the room now. Just listen to what I say. And probably very few questions. <laughs> Uh, the next Golden Gap class is in January. It's in the middle of January. It's going to be January 10th and 11th. And I'm running a special until the end of the year. If you want to sign up, email me and I'll send you the information. But you could learn and take the class in January, the middle of January, and still get to trade then all first quarter earnings season, which would be a really good time to trade. And 2015 is going to be a good time to trade. It's going to be one of the most volatile uh, years to ever day trade. And there's been some years where the market was choppy and back and forth and neutral and you know, faking lower and faking higher, not going anywhere. There were years the market did that. 2015 is not going to be that case. 2015 is going to be a bullish year in the market, and it's going to have a lot of volatility momentum. And for what I do to the downside, I like to short. It's going to give good short plays despite the fact the market's bullish because stuff that wants to be dumped, people that are long stocks and want to dump out of them, will want to sell them, it creates the shorting, the momentum of the downside. I'm going to get to short, and they're going to be big plays. So 2015 is going to be a good year to be day trade. It's going to be the year since I started trading, which was the end of 2008, to, it's going to be the best year ever to be a day trader, actually, 2015, since I am doing this, since I'm alive, since I'm doing this. Now, there are obviously other years back, a long, long time ago, I never traded. In the 90s, I think, a friend of mine had mentioned this, but I'm talking about right now, since I began trading, since 2008, which was really even seven years ago, and now here it's 2015 in a month, or less than that, this is going to be the prime, prime time to trade the U.S. stock market equities. Whether you do options or you straight day trade, you do overnights or swing trades, I know this is going to be an amazing year to do it. Why? Because it's going to have a lot of opportunity, it's going to have a lot of volatility, and it's going to have a lot of momentum and a lot of volume and a lot of participants. And what's going to help the market lift the market is all the participants and all the volume and everything coming in, and that creates it. I'm, I'm seeing this is setting up. First of all, I'm seeing it's going to happen, and I'm also seeing it setting up already now to start to happen. It's happening now. It's happening. It's in the works. It's it's in. It's happening. Okay, but the spy is going to hit 300 in 2015. I have a hundred percent conviction, and I'm getting confirmation all the time. Reading the gaps in the market, both bullish and bearish, the spy will hit a number of 300 in 2015, and I know that's almost 100 points from here, 93 or thereabouts. That sounds crazy that the market could make a move like that in one calendar year, but it is going to do it. And this is going to be the year you want to trade the U.S. market. It's going to be the thing to do. It's going to be en vogue, okay? Now, let me just look here and see what rally we did make here in this year. I mean, this year wasn't anything to sneeze about either. So from the level here in February, it was like the end of January, beginning of February, we'll just say 173. So, and again, we're, we're not done yet with the year. So I'd say we're probably, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to have a 35, 40 point rally 40-point rally probably by the close of the year from here. It's going to be more than that. It could be 50 points from, from the initial low of the market of the calendar year of 2014. So we're going to double that next year. So you, that is, yeah, that is how it's going to play out. 315, I'm seeing it even here now. 325. 325. 325. And people think this is extended, so they're not long. And they're going to miss all of this move here, but they're still going to get in. And once they're convinced, then the market's really rallying. And then people are going to really start talking about stuff. And who knows what people are saying. I don't listen to any of it. But I do read the gaps and I do pay attention. I read the gap up this morning in the market. And I read the gap up this morning in the market and I struggled in the morning. And I still read it to hold and I still said it would rally. And this all happened out of its own accord. I don't think there was even any reports out in the morning. I mean, in the afternoon, it was all in the morning. Here's the market held, 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 came down in here, even tried to break the low, even did break the low, broke the low, still held, held where the stock was this morning where I gave the room, rallied, had a beautiful rally into the afternoon and look what it did. Market held very, 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 very well today. And at one point in here, it looked like it was going to break. In fact, somebody in the room said, I think this is going to break, it's going to break, it's going to fake, it's going to break, it's going to break the low, but it held anyways. Held and set up here into 11.15 reversal time and rally. Market held, held the gap today, was squished up into the resistance, and at one point looked like it was squished, 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 and wasn't going to make it over. But I did throw it on the room this morning. There's a chance we're going to make it over the high, and I said, even if we hold this resistance today, don't make it over, we will gap up tomorrow. And we're gapping up right now. I mean, so basically, this is tonight. 
this is 2072 we're up there so i don't know where we open tomorrow we get up and over the high tomorrow we get up at 209 tomorrow 208 something or we could open neutral but either way i see nothing that even is remotely going to be bearish tomorrow and look at the volume here in the close of today this probably had to be real this is i think this was real i can't wait to see tomorrow morning i'm gonna have to wait anyways a beautiful call by the stock swish show Live trading room, a beautiful call by me, Melissa Armo. I am the stock swoosh, and a beautiful call I made here in the market to make a new high before the end of the calendar year. 13 more days left. I don't know how many trading days. My last trading day of the year for me is tomorrow. However, I will be watching the market and still looking at the charts. And I will tell you that this is happening here very, very early. So the target of 210 and 212 is very much in play and could get to 215 for the end of the year. And it'd be huge, huge, huge. And it's all setting up to take us into 2015. And everybody will see this. And if the market closes really strong at the end of the year, shorts will still come in in January because nobody, they're not going to give it up. They are not going to give it up. They keep insisting the market is is extended and they were going to keep trying to short it and they're going to keep trying, 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 trying and probably this summer, I'm seeing June, July, August, September even of 2015, eventually shorts will give it up. It's going to be a long time coming for that to happen. I thought maybe the spring, but the more the rally happens and the bigger the rally takes us into the beginning of 2015 and into the end of the year this year, shorts are going to get in and really believe that the market's going to reverse and is extended and that is not going to happen because the market is higher and it is going to hit 300 in 2015. This is not the first video I said this on. You can look back at the other ones, but it is right now December 18th, and I can see that far in advance that that's going to happen. It's going to be an enormous bullish year for the stock market, one of the biggest that it's ever had in its lifetime. And it is going to be a great year to day trade because there will be a lot of volatility. And if you know how to do what I do, it is going to be a year to capitalize on opportunity. And you must take those years when they happen. There are times when you do not get full on play Okay, in things sometimes, but this is not that year. This is not that year. This is not that year at all. This is the year where actually the market is going to, uh, and I'm talking about 2015. This is the year where the market is going to take off and there's going to be a lot of volatility and you're going to want to be a day trader. You're actually going to want to be a day trader. You're going to think about doing it and think it's silly not to do it. Okay. And whether you go long or short, it's not going to matter as long as you have a good call and a good play and as long as you're doing a quality golden gap. I teach a golden gap rating system. It's a 26 point rating system and that's how I know the market's going to do these things and that's how I make the calls like I make all the time in the room. Have a fantastic day, everyone. If I don't do another video before the holidays, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and happy new year. My last trading day is tomorrow. I may do some videos in between in the market, although not 100% conviction that I'm going to. Need a break here, going to relax, and I'm going to rest, 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 and gear up for an amazing 2015 because it is going to be. And everyone that knows me knows that anyways. And congratulations for everyone that has held the conviction and believed in what I said the market was going to do. And for those of you that poo-pooed it, you got to take a second look at what you're doing because if you don't know how to trade, I'm here still teaching a class and I'm not going to be forever. And you have an opportunity to learn from me and know that I'm an opportunity for someone and anyone that meets up with me. So there's opportunity next year in the market, opportunity to learn from me because I'm still teaching at least at this point into early 2015. So you want to reach out to me and do the class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic bullish market here. I love every second of it, every second of it. Have a great night, everyone, and uh, have a good holiday.